How can this be? Mankind's emotions have overtaken the world. And one girl gives me to show the world. world tore itself from its origin. Her godhood is not me. me. The only solution is to rid her of humanity's humanity. hope for the future comes at the cost of her own. Forgive me. All I can leave her is her name. It's Eno! Eno's here! She's here! Eno? It's Eno! It's Nanny Brown! Here. It's Don't let her go! It's private division! Eno's here! Do any of you really think you can stop me? Wow, no idiots in your little group, I see. If you turn back now, we can all stay that way! These days, chivalry's worth as much as shit on your shoe. Be that as it may, we bear our country's flag. We're not afraid to step in it! <sighs> I feel for you. Really, I do. Sorry about the mess. Didn't know you were such a neat freak. Why are you here? How about you? Why are you here? You wouldn't have ended up like this if you'd just gone and died when you lost your war against humanity. And you believe you won? Witches have such vivid imaginations. Better than not having one at all. I'm not the one who had to give up my crown and castle. Be careful now. That rug under your feet is a lion's mane. You might be on the other side of the cage for now, but you won't get away with it for long. I could stop, if you'd like. So long as you return what's mine. Yours? <laughs> you think it will obey you just because you put a leash around its neck? That power needs no master. Today it does. And once you see someone wielding it, you'll know who the master really is. You may think you know everything, but you can never foresee your mistakes. You're just a child, excited over a new toy. No, you're the child here. Someone finally found me out, huh? And you're the most dangerous someone they could have been. <laughs> someone once said that if mankind's endless want could be sated, inequality and conflict would come to an end. Or, to look at it another way, if you were to rob humanity of its desire, you would bring peace to the world. 
But who wants a world like that? And what is the peace people desire? Asking that is to ask what humanity is. Is everything all right? I can hear tires screeching. These windows have great visibility. Wouldn't you agree? You wouldn't even know they were there. Indeed. They're 110 millimeters thick, too. 100% Wurzai. Just as fast on land as in the water. Worst case scenario, she can even move without wheels. And our driver's more than her good looks. She's got 42 manuals worth of emergency protocol committed to memory. Not bad, huh, Mr. Oscar? No need for a mister. Asuka, then. Anyway, this car you've chosen for your little hitchhike could put any tank to shame. My only complaint is that I can't find an insurance company to cover it. Do you know why that is? Well, um, yes I do. Because you are the 76th President of the United States. And this is your personal car. A little flasher than I would have chosen on my way to propose demilitarization at G4, but nonetheless. I agree with you there. <sighs> I do apologize for forcing my way in like this. I had considered alternative approaches, but... Save the explanation for later. For now, we need to get all these eyes off us. Our intrepid reporters can confirm firsthand that the gear maker is currently seated in the president's that car. That is correct. It seems that the most heinous criminal in history, commonly known as that man, may have surrendered himself into United While we haven't been able to get a clear view of the situation, witnesses are reporting that he was speaking with the, the mastermind president. behind Now there's a possibility that this the may be a copycat. The monikers that man and the gear maker should be familiar to anyone who's ever opened his contact Some speculate that he may be involved with the Citizens have started to gather in protest, resulting in confusion. Be wary of the recent spread of unfounded incident. speculation. As of now, we don't have any confirmation. He's a man of many names, but perhaps we should call him by the one most familiar to us. The Devil. Vultures, all of them. They can spot prey from a mile away. Oh, actually, I leaked the story to them. You don't say. Wait, huh? I hate to say it, but you heard that right. It was a necessity. I want my actions to be just as transparent as the glass of this window. I know that my request is unreasonable, but... You call it a request. With all those eyes on us, this is a demand. You might not realize, but if the pen is mightier than the sword, then the microphone's stronger than a cannon. You're supposedly the mastermind behind a hundred-year war. Whether that's true or not, it's what the people believe. If the victims of that conflict or their families are nearby, they aren't just here to get a look at you. Huh? Get down! So it is you. That's a negative, boss. Looks like the other one is in Illyria. Skies sure are clear. We're going to need a 43rd manual, Mr. President. Worry about that, I'm Mr. Asuka, they say that there's nothing you can't do. So what could you possibly want from us? Confinement. For you? I don't think there's a cell in this world that can hold you. No, not for me. For the tone. The Tome? You mean the Tome of Origin? 
To be more precise, I need a place that cannot be accessed by any outside force. One that cannot be forced open by any weapon or spell, no matter how strong. Now I see. So, like Alcatraz? No, Mr. President. He's referring to an even safer location. The Presidential Emergency Operations Center. In other words, the White House. Same good. Soul bad guy! I saw you in the newspaper, you know. You can read. Shit. You're smarter than I thought. How about you read this for me? Ooh, who's that handsome devil? Come on, read it. Says you're worth two months worth of meals. Two whole months? Figured a big world saving hero would have more expensive tastes. <laughs> Shouldn't you be putting up your feet at the castle right now? What are you doing out here, bounty hunting? Do I look like I got any table manners? Uh, hold on now. Hear me out. I get it. Between the name and the look, I can seem a little scary. But you make the right choice here, and I'll show you my softer side. Don't screw with me! That was the wrong choice. No, 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 no freaking way! Who the f- um, I'm with him. That's Mr. Monster to you. The army didn't burn their morals and budget a hundred years ago to make someone you could disrespect. You mean Asuka, right? Huh? It wasn't the army who made you. It was Asuka. This guy sure as hell doesn't need to know that. And I'll settle things with him in due time. Our citizens have both freedom of thought and freedom of speech. They may voice their complaints to the government as they see fit. This is a democracy, after all. In short, Kai, our administration is not a popular one. You're telling me that someone came to complain about a top security containment cell 300 meters underground? You catch on quickly. And you chose to leave the comfort of the castle and come take a look for yourself. I didn't plan on doing so, until I heard that the first king himself was inspecting the site. Are you really so desperate for supporters? In terms of pure accomplishment, people say I should be the third king. Lines like that are why you keep making enemies. What are the damages? 32 injured, and the sturdiest door in the castle kicked down. What was stolen? Nothing. Nothing I could include in a report, at any rate. The culprit took something from Ares. Whether that's a weapon, a power, or something else we should be afraid of, I couldn't say. It's as if we're cursed. How has it only been three weeks? Three weeks between the end of the war and our culprit deciding to shake things up again. What did you say her name was? Eno. If you're planning on becoming a detective, you chose one hell of a first case. 
This is an extensive criminal record. If even half of these accusations are true, then ten life sentences wouldn't be enough. And she's a combat genius with the ability to move through time? It's no wonder the police and the military have thrown in the towel. Spare us the barbs and read, would you? Barbs? I like to think of them as staples, holding the pages together. Otherwise, it's an endless list of excuses for why Eno's running wild. But on that note, Leo, I do have one question about all of this. What is her goal? All of our info's on those pages in your hand. She's the strongest performance criminal in history. Other than that, we don't know a thing. Even where she came from? We don't even know if Eno's her real name. Saves me the trouble of looking her up in the registry, at least. She's been known to work with the gear maker. Though again, we can't say why. Or at least, she was working with him until recently. What makes this time any different? She's never made a move this big before. Not to brag, but I'm a video surveillance fiend. If I caught it on camera, I could track a flea to the end of the world. But Eno destroyed all the footage from last night. Of course. That's criminal behavior 101. Not for her. Usually she wants the spotlight. But this time, she didn't want to be seen. She was hiding something. Which can only mean... She's got a sequel in the works. How grateful I am that we have your brain. But what is it about this that has you so rattled? The timing. It's too close to the G4 summit for this to be a coincidence. And we've got two troublemakers in play here. The Gearmaker and Eno. They may have different motives, but I can't imagine their actions are entirely unrelated. When two tornadoes collide, they create an even bigger storm. You're right. The timing couldn't be worse. We need to put an end to all this. Or rather... We need a tornado that can snuff out the other tornadoes. Daryl. Soul Bad Guy is still a bounty hunter, is he not? The man spent a hundred years trying to get his life back. It's not that I don't appreciate what he's gone through, but heroes are put on a different pedestal. We shower them with praise, because we expect them to risk their lives. Making sure he won't fall off? Just about done. Okay. Hey, Jacko, careful with that. I just put it together, so it's not stable yet. What? Is it gonna blow up or something? Yeah, and take the whole damn mountain with it. And that's before you've even got batteries in the thing. Well, that's terrifying. You really want me to carry this around? You ever get an entire century to tinker away at a hobby? You'd be amazed at what you can make. Huh? You call this a hobby? That's a little aggressive. No different than brand name clothes or jewels. Think of it as a bouquet of roses, and handle it that way too. Maybe I'd know how if you ever gave me any. Ha! By the way... Don't pull a stunt like that again. Huh? You're a regular human now. Biologically, you mean? You know what I mean. Wouldn't you have rather stayed back at the castle? Arya's still in here. I'm nothing more than a temporary replacement personality. Just an AI put in place to steer this body. Save that question for when your real girlfriend is back. I'm asking you. I have no desires beyond fulfilling my role. And your role wants you here with me. Am I the one who was at your side for ten years? I have a thousand years worth of knowledge of my role. And not even one year's knowledge of this world. Besides, what would you do if I did say I wanted to stay at the castle? I tell you too bad. You need a royal decree just to open the damn refrigerator. Even a rat wouldn't last two days there. Soul. Yeah? I need you at the castle.
You smell that? Dust and plants everywhere. And uh, you're happy about that. You try spending all day locked in a windowless room, then you'll get it. I was stuck in one for a hundred years. What'd you pull me out for, anyway? It's my fault you lost your power. You want it back, right? Look, I know it sounds cheesy, but... It'll make you a god. Does that intrigue you? Does it matter? Sure does. Awfully personal question. There's a reason behind this world. Things only ever start to exist when there's a reason for them to. Even me. As long as you exist, you're needed. By something. I was wondering if, for me, that something was you. Fallen for me, have you? Your power, at least. What else is there? I realize this may sound a bit contradictory now, but I've never been big on the idea of fate. So even if we only know, I don't know, 4% of what makes up the universe, discovering the remaining 96% doesn't really interest me. Neither does wealth, honor, influence. The most important thing for me... ...is drama. What kind of story are you about to write for us? The god who made me did so with the tequila in hand. If he could do that, I can do anything. But what I want is simple. A future. is interesting. Happy Chaos. Happy? My name. You're my boss. And I'm gonna be your sacrifice. Babylon, this is Firefly 3, Special Patrol complete. Requesting permission to RTP. Avalon Clay confirming Firefly's patrol logged is complete. Return to base, Firefly. Mr. Asuka. Hmm? I won't ask you to walk with your eyes closed, but try to save your curiosity for the guided tour. Oh, right. I really don't mean to be so uptight, but this is a highly restricted area, which is, to be fair, exactly what you asked for. The most difficult room in the world to enter. Though I hope you don't expect five-star luxury. So it's just through this door? No, that room's just a room. You could just open the door and walk right out for a coffee. Quite the antique, isn't it? The White House hasn't changed since the Crusades. 
It's got little shelters and hideaways all over the place. I'm rather used to this sort of environment. Meanwhile, I don't even know what's safe to touch. Good. It hasn't changed. Oscar. Coming. This should suit me perfectly. Do you have many friends? I'm afraid that all private communication from this bunker is strictly forbidden. Signal blocking, I presume? That's right. Communication's less forbidden than it is impossible. This room uses 13th generation AES encryption, the highest standard of security in the universe. So, make your personal calls now, before your friends start to wonder where you've disappeared to. Oh, uh, thank you, but... I don't believe that will be necessary. He's awfully unassuming for the devil. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed, to be honest. <laughs> oh. What are you- Don't panic. See? N sorry. What are they up to in there? Chief, Secretary Dickinson has already arrived. That's why we're in such a hurry. Honestly, I'm not sure if this whole exercise is really worth our time. I mean, the Secretary is stronger than all of us agents combined. Yeah, and he's pissed off that we let the gear maker into the compound. Being late may cost us some trust, sure, but skipping this training would cost us our lives. Tell that to Geo. A little early for moon watching, isn't it? <sighs> it's too gloomy indoors. It'll get a lot gloomier if you piss off the secretary. Come on, we've got a training exercise to get to. You recommended me for the Secret Service, remember? I read the brief. I know what I'm doing. Oh? Did it say anything about paying you to take a nap? You're so much stronger than I am, yet you still haven't earned this badge. Why is that, Giovanna? Because it looks incredibly stupid. I don't disagree, but don't go around saying that, got it? This was designed by the president himself. Did he design that ugly shirt, too? Enough already. Just prepare for your training. And button up your shirt. But then how will I catch a good man? <sighs> sure didn't work on me. Now, Asuka. I think I've got a good read on you. I've seen that you're a good man. The people who don't know you may say you're the devil, but it doesn't seem like you're looking to cause trouble. That's why I opted to grant your request. But now that I've done so, mind telling me why you're really here? You said that you wanted to protect the Tome. Do you intend to remain within these walls forever? We aren't idiots. We realize that your surrender coincides with the G4 Summit. And you'll be right under the representatives from the four most powerful nations in the world. So what exactly do you intend to do? Rather than protecting the Tome, per se, I want to erase it from mankind's history. It's been done before. 
Are you familiar with Project Tir Nanak? Possible. That's just an urban legend. Fill me in. <sighs> People say there's a massive strategic weapon hidden somewhere within the White House. But that's a completely unfounded rumor. As the former president, Miss Bartholomew, you would know. It is indeed mere gossip. But what makes it a rumor of note is that the truth is far more surprising. The Crusades may be over, but many sad relics of the era remain, lying dormant and undiscovered, some of which are extremely dangerous. I consider it my duty to eliminate them all. Huh? And you intend to raise this issue in G4? The blame for the Crusades rests solely on my shoulders. I put humanity on the brink of extinction. There is very little difference between a good statue and an evil bystander. For too long, I've chosen to avert my eyes. But if there are two things I truly need to erase from this world... They are the Tome of Origin... and Soul Bad Guy. <laughs>